we hear Jesus say, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. What is it that most characterizes the childlike? Is it their simplicity of spirit? Is it their innocence that bears no marks of duplicity? Is it their gentle docility, their ability to trust? Is it their purity of heart? It is a combination of all of these, I believe, and above all, to be childlike is to possess a willingness to be loved, to be held safely within the tender and protective arms of parental love. And I believe that this is the childlike quality that God most desires. The ability to approach God as loving parent and to know that in God alone I am safe, I am home, I live in the eternal embrace of God's love. We are God's beloved children and God desires to hold us all in loving and tender embrace and to be truly childlike is to allow ourselves to accept that divine embrace, to be molded, to be transformed into the persons that God has created us to be. And that is the beauty of our saint of the day, Katiri Tekakwitha, the first Native American to be canonized a saint of the Catholic Church. Katiri Tekakwitha, known affectionately as the Lily of the Mohawks, her story is indeed one of true childlike simplicity, great, great love. At a very, very tender age, she lost both her parents and her brother to a smallpox epidemic. She herself survived, but the smallpox left her face terribly scarred and disfigured. And alone, without the love of family, and in many ways looked down upon because of her physical condition, she found her true love in Jesus Christ. And she made the heroic decision to live for him alone. And at the age of 19, against all the wishes of her people, of her tribe, against all their wishes, she converted to Catholicism. She made a perpetual vow of virginity. She lived a chaste and saintly life, refusing an offer of marriage and making the decision to live for Jesus alone. She died at the very early age of 24 in 1680, and at the time of her death, it was confirmed by eyewitnesses that all of those disfiguring marks on her face due to the smallpox vanished within minutes. She was radiant and lovely in her death. She was beatified in 1980 by Pope John Paul II, canonized by Pope Benedict XVI on October 21st, 2012. And we pray to her. We pray that St. Kateri will help us all to love God 
with a pure and a childlike love as she did. May she help us. May she help us to bring God's love into this often dark, very wounded world. That is our mission as baptized Christians. It is our mission as beloved children of God. God bless you all.